There's a whole series of events coming up throughout October, November and December. Candlesfreeassange.com or look at Free Assange NZ, our Facebook group. Um, and there's a Candles group, a Twitter account of the same name. If you want to include your city on there, please tag Candles for Assange with the number. Okay, I want to introduce now Tom Peters from the Socialist Equality Party. He's over here and he's going to give a speech today. Tom Peters, who Thank also you. writes for the World Socialist website. Thank you very much, Alex, for that, and uh, everyone for coming here today. Um, six months ago, British police entered the Ecuadorian embassy in London and arrested Julian Assange, publisher and founder of WikiLeaks. He was thrown into the maximum security Belmarsh prison, while the UK authorities arranged for his extradition to the United States. Assange's crime is publishing evidence of the most brutal atrocities of the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Chelsea Manning, who provided the documents to WikiLeaks in 2010, was thrown in prison by the Obama administration for seven years and has again been imprisoned by Donald Trump's administration for the past six months. They are trying to force her to give false testimony to help frame Julian Assange for espionage. The persecutors of Assange and Manning should face trial for war crimes. Julian Assange's father, John Shipton, visited him in prison recently and said he's afraid that he could die there. He's being held in solitary confinement and has lost a large amount of weight. The British judicial system has refused to grant him the most basic democratic rights. They've refused to allow Assange's lawyers to apply for his early release before this extradition trial next February. Assange will face class justice from Judge Emma Arbuthno, whose husband is a former conservative politician with close ties to the weapons industry. As we say on the World Socialist website, appeals to the powers that be to uphold Assange and Manning's democratic rights are the worst kind of wishful thinking. These governments and parliaments are full of blood-soaked criminals they have no conscience, they have no respect for human life or the rule of law because they serve a ruling class that is taking the world into depression, environmental devastation and war. So free Assange and free Chelsea Manning. Thank you. Yeah, yeah I got you. So I'm going to go in the background. Yeah. yeah. Because they were very strong But they had to let him be In the Ecuadorian embassy They had to let him be
We've, we've held a protest here in Wellington. I'm, my name's Tom, I'm from the Socialist Equality Group. We, we started out <laughs> in um, the Cuba Street and um, it's six months since Assange was dragged, illegally dragged from the Ecuadorian Embassy by UK police um, and placed in Belmarsh Prison um, on a trumped up um, ch charge of jumping bail. Um, the object is to extradite him to the United States where they will charge him with espionage and um, uh, basically he's, his crime is journalism, is publishing the truth about the US wars in Iraq and Afghanistan uh, and um, he and Chelsea Manning are being punished for that. Um, it's to uh, intimidate opposition to war to intimidate anyone who is um, speaking out about uh, the corruption of the US government and its allies and um, and really to usher in a, a kind of um, regime of censorship uh, and attacks on free speech. Um, so we're at the International Committee for the Fourth International that publishes the World Socialist website is um, calling for a worldwide campaign uh, of working people, young people, students um, and uh, middle-class people and everyone who defends free speech to uh, support, you know, to, to put maximum pressure on the UK government, the Australian government and the, the US government to secure the freedom um, and uh, to secure the free freedom and the release of, of Julian Assange and Chelsea Manning and guarantee their democratic rights. Um, we're doing some chalking up the street. We were going to do a march all the way here, but we only had two musicians, so it wasn't much of a marching band, but we'll do it again later. Um, we have Candles for Assange, which is a movement that wasn't originally instigated by Free Assange in New Zealand, um, that we invited people to come to Julian Assange's birthday back in July, um, and we thought we'd get a few cities, but we actually got 62 cities joining in under one banner, which is an incredible achievement. Now, many of them were just one person with a candle at a war memorial. Um, we had all six continents covered. We tried Scott Base, but we had difficulty getting them on board. Um, it's difficult to support someone when your government has still got war criminals sitting in it, both on the left and the right, whom this person exposed. But if we let this journalist go down, we are actually putting in a, a hugely chilling effect on journalism as a whole, um, particularly anti-war journalism. Anti-war supporters have been quashed, they've been silenced, they've been harassed. We have 117 asylum seekers from New Zealand since 2002. And I, I'm willing to think that a number of them are probably anti-war or anti-spying. Um, and they felt that, that they were being attacked here for whatever reason. Now, um, I'm really concerned for my children's free press. I feel like our free press is in jail and it's awaiting extradition for the death penalty and not enough people are speaking out about it. And the reason that not enough people are speaking out about it is because our media is run in those boardrooms by the very same criminals that sit over here in the British High Commission today. So we are going to keep the pressure on Britain because we cannot have a journalist extradited for espionage. This is actually like world first and the deafening silence is appalling. Really, do people really think that they're going to just let their children sort this out, all this mess? I am not going to be one of those people. It's like the head of the Swedish bar said in Sweden on the handling of that ridiculous case to which there are no charges and it been an investigative stage for, what, nine years now, Tom, is it not? All yep. the documentation and correspondence relating to that case were destroyed by the British. Mm. These people over here. So that's why there's no case. That's why supposedly no one's been able to see any justice because there was never a case. Even the head prosecutor actually mm. threw it out and said no crime had been committed. This is ridiculous. And Sweden has been trying to rid themselves of this ever since. Now, um, it is absolutely ridiculous that we're still sitting in this position. Sweden has not been allowed to extradite Julian because there is no case. Um, here we are. Britain holding a journalist who published anti-war. He's an anti-war hero. He published secrets that the governments have been um, conducting wars, millions dead, 
in our name. Now, if you think we're sitting in New Zealand and we don't have any complicity in that, forget it. We are the Five Eyes. But then above that, we have the 42 Eyes. They are US and their allies. And there is a concerted effort to literally round up and lock up journalists. A concerted effort going on around us right now. Mm. Whistleblowers like Chelsea Manning sitting in jail without a single charge. Mm. Julian unlawfully um, imprisoned at the moment in a high security max prison. How can we actually allow this to occur? Uh, I, I'm flabbergasted actually. And mm. my mother, who is a journalist who once actually interviewed Winston Churchill, um, if she didn't have dementia right now, I know she'd be running up and down naked outside the British Heart, uh, British Heart Commission if she was here. Um, and I am going to do her some honour by fighting this cause for my own children and her grandchildren. And I don't understand the silence. I really don't. So right now, I guess mm. I might be getting in trouble. I'm going to go to chalk on there. For... Okay. Keep filming, I reckon. paint or something like that but I don't want to um, put that don't kind of uh, yeah. reputation onto the WikiLeaks and good activists everywhere who are fighting to stop the wars and to stop the corruption. Well we have war criminals sitting in government, sitting in our diplomatic institutions. We are never ever going to be able to solve the problems we have right now. We're talking about climate marches. What about the 21 trillion that was lost by the Pentagon? Do you know what that means in terms of CO2 emissions alone? A third, a third of this year's global emissions. That was just frittered away by the Pentagon. Hmm. And we're not even allowed to count the emissions created by war or the pollution, not to mention the millions and millions dead in our name. Really, if we're not gonna fight for this cause, you are literally handing this problem to your children. You are asking for an Orwellian future. That's how I feel. Where's Timothy? Hey Greg, do you wanna say anything to the lovely people? Uh, Have I said it? Okay. On this day, the Ecuadorian people would like to wish you a happy birthday, and we hope that we, you are set free soon. The people are what give Julian hope. You know it doesn't make much sense. There ought to be a law against anyone who takes offense at a day in your celebration. I'm sure you would agree it couldn't fit more perfectly than to have a world party on the day that you came to be Julian. Happy birthday! All right, this is a uh, Free Assange New Zealand Wellington crew. These are the candles. Happy birthday, Julian! Hip hip! Hip hip! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! We all know in our minds that there ought to be a time that we can set aside to show just how much we love you and I'm sure you would agree what could fit more perfectly than to have a world party on the day you came to be happy Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you.